with Daryl in August, and he was so good <clears throat> that I had to come back at the beginning of April to see him again. <laughs> About to get his haircut, as you can see, it's like picked out. We'll take it down a little bit, so uh, look kind of a little rough, but we'll make it happen. I'm a boy. State University with my right. boy Alexander hey, gang, gang, Rich. <laughs> Charlotte graduates 2012. Freshman roommates, Oak Hall. Oak Hall, phase five. <laughs> phase five. This is like my sixth time. Six time. Six time. Six. Six time at like Ball State. Taking our money. Three of those times. It's probably because of this guy. <laughs> The other times, I don't know how they found me, but out of all the states that I visited, I want to say that I visited probably California and Indiana, Indiana the most. Just finished speaking at Ball State. I thought it was a really, um, really, really good time. Again, good group of students. Um, one student came up and shared the story about how she hurt me um, in the past at Ball State. She said that um, she was sexually assaulted in her sorority, and she went, she went to go find the fearless bracelet. She said she found it because she hasn't been wearing it. She hasn't wear it, or she didn't wear it for like a month and a half. She put on a bracelet and she decided to actually tell her sorority members um, that she was assaulted by, of course, one of her, it was one of her friends who was in another fraternity. Um, she said that story was able to help them and be able to inspire them. I'm kind of like share their story. So I thought that was uh, really powerful that people are being able to use the band um, in that way in order to push through those fears. So I just wanted to share that. Overall, great day. Thank you for watching. Night.